Good morning, glorious, spilling way up in the middle of some greasy old woods. How the hell are you today? It's been a long time. Last time I saw you went uh, extremely well, and it was actually a while ago. And the reason I haven't came back is because last time I was here, I got hooked in the finger by a greasy old pike head. So basically the goal of today is to uh, not hook myself, maybe hook some fish, and uh, yeah, see, what, see what's living in this greasy old little streamside puddle and stuff. What is going on, you dirty old stash stains? It is me and I am back. My pinky's healed, my thumb's messed up, but that's because I fell off a cliff the other day while I was fishing, and uh, yeah, we're back. We're going for a crappie, walleye pike, and uh, pretty much whatever else we can get. I mean, most of the time when we go fishing, we just try to figure out what's working and what's biting and try to catch them. So we're not doing anything different than that today. I do have some new crappie stuff to try. Last time I was here, I talked about how I wanted to try some actual crappie lures instead of using just the one inch gulp. So got some uh, small moon eye jig heads and I got uh, some Bobby Garland Slim Shad shakers or some shit, I don't know. I haven't looked at the package for a while. I bought them a long time ago and never used them and we're gonna try them today. We also have the big old bobber bud, we have a plopper, we have a big swim bait, we have a bottom rig for night crawlers, and we're just basically gonna give it a couple hours and see if we can't catch something big or at least a lot of numbers or something. But live bait, crappie fishing, walleyes, maybe some uh, trash fishing too. So uh, come along with me, let's see what we can make happen in the next few hours at this, uh, one of my favorite little puddles and stuff. Okay, dokay. Been having some camera issues. So hopefully we don't have those today. I got a whole new camera, but I don't think that was necessary because I think it was just a memory card thing. So hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully my camera doesn't shut off randomly like it has been. And okay, here's the little, the little Bobby Garland bud. So we want a small crappie. Right now our goal is to catch a tiny crappie or a big crappie. We can do without the in-betweeners. We want the little one for live bait and we want the big one just to catch it for fun. If there's even crappies in here right now. It's been months. First cast, there is crappie. And they like the Bobby Garland because he swallowed it. Right in the damn eyeball, huh? Right in the damn eyeball. Well, too big for live bait and too small to get excited about, but first cast fish, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. He's a tall boy, He's just not a very old boy. Cool, thanks for the suggestion. This thing apparently works. Figured it would, but. It's a bigger bait than I normally use for crappie, but it appears to catch the small ones as well. That's what I was always scared of. I mean, I always just fished with the one inch Colt minnows and you know, one sixty-fourth ounce jig head and that works just fine. But I feel like this is a little better at targeting crappie specifically when bluegills are around and potentially having a better chance at uh, bigger crappie. Another one. Well, the crappie still seem to be here, which is good. Because I haven't caught crappie for, well, since the last time I was here. Been a while, been doing a lot of other stuff. Mainly carp, I'm sorry. It's just kind of how it's worked out, but... Even though crappie ain't the biggest, it's still uh, something I haven't caught for a while, so... I think it's always good to mix things up, and I feel like I've been doing kind of a shitty job at that lately, so... Well, it's still a creek spillway. At least we're catching crappie and not carp. I'm gonna catch a few more crappie. We need to catch a really tiny one too, so I might have to downsize and then throw out some live bait, maybe some lures and stuff. All right, we're gonna use him. He might be as small as we're getting. We used to be able to get some a little bit smaller, but that was months ago, so. Out goes Mr. Crappie, bud. Out he goes. Okay, I'm sorry, bud. And we got it about, I don't know, four feet deep. We'll start there. Actually, let's make it a little deeper. We're just gonna let this bud float around out there. See if we can't get a pike or a big walleye or something big enough to eat a whole ass crappie. Might go back to crappie fishing eventually, but it's losing its luster because I can pretty much catch them at will. It makes it a little bit less exciting, so. We're gonna let the uh, night crawl in the crappie soak and see if we can't get something big and stuff. Kind of messed up to the northerners that can't uh, use game fish as bait, but 100% legal in Nebraska, not doing anything illegal. There's obviously plenty of crappies in here, so following the laws, if you don't like it, I guess you don't like it, but it is legal and it is effective, so. Don't be jealous that you can't use game fish as bait. I would be too, 
comes in handy, especially for kitties. Might need to shallow this up a little bit though. It's like he's just sitting on the bottom. Let's do that. I wanna see him swimming around, freaking out when something gets near him. Or maybe I paralyzed him when I hooked him, I don't know. Nope, just had it too deep. Better, better. I'm gonna tie on a swim bait, I think, and then go from there and stuff. Oh God. Oh God, on the swim bait. Reeling it in fast. Smoked it. <clears throat> yep. Not the best rod for this. But that would be a pike fish. Come on, bud. Come on. No treble hooks on this one. I haven't caught a pike forever. He's a little tyke, but he absolutely railed the swim bait. And he came off. That's all right. I didn't want to get toothed or hooked, but yeah, he uh, he wanted the swimming bait. Check our line, pretty good. I don't think he ever had the line in his mouth, but yeah, we lost him, which kind of sucks, but oh well, you know. I wonder if there's any bigger pike in here because uh, that little bud could not eat a live crappie, or at least the size of live crappie we have out, so. Maybe there's some bigger ones in here. Maybe there isn't, but we got the baits out to catch them. Oh, Croppy's really freaking out now. Question is, is there a pike big enough to eat him? Oh, yeah, something just plucked the crappie. I don't know if it still has it, but that was not just the crappie. There's at least a pike circling him. I don't know if he still has him, but we'll give him some time. I don't know if that's just the crappie or if that's a fish that has the crappie. Kind of looks like a fish that has the crappie. Yeah, something's got him. We're going to give him some time to try to get him more and then go for it, I guess. Should have a quick strike, strike rig, I know. Their circle hook worked pretty well for me last time, though. You got whatever it is. Woo! <gasps> Definitely bigger than the last pike. And it almost looks like he had the whole crappie down. I gave him enough beans. I don't know if he had the hook in his mouth though. We also didn't hook him for very long, so he might bite again, but that's a good sign. We only made a few casts of the swim bait, got a pike. Hook something big on the swim bait. Like I said, I'm not sure if my camera was on, but if it was a pike, it was a giant. Just came off, didn't break off, and then some just tried to eat the crappie. I'm gonna take the swim bait off catch a fresh little crappie and see if we can get another chance at that dude but that seemed to be five to ten pounds to me i mean it had some weight maybe i'll put a treble hook on here in a little bit but last time when i was using the circles i mean as long as i gave them time i mean i hooked like four out of five of them or something it's just big bait maybe there's a big pike in here but for the most part they're kind of small so i think they're going to be hard to hook kind of regardless but pretty intense though whole ass crappie under a bobber got smoked screwed it up but it got smoked i kind of questionably added a treble hook to this whole scenario here so we'll see if that helps not the best looking thing i've ever seen but it is a thing for sure is a thing sorry crappie bud your time has come hey and i mean we're really not wasting the crappies we're just hand feeding pike basically we're just giving them a free meal you know so I don't have to work for it. Rather catch them and then give them a free meal, but yeah, feel better about this. Let's get the next one, hopefully, and stuff. Put pike and crappies. Got one. First cast with the swim bait again. Got one. Let's see if we can get our hands on this one. I feel like we hooked him a little better. You calm down down there, Skippy. First cast with the swim bait again. Whoa. Whoa, Timmy, whoa. Not the biggest pike, but something I don't get to catch a lot. You guys don't get to see a lot of, and you guys request a lot, so. <clears throat> 
got some. So while they're not the biggest, they are pike heads. And we didn't get hooked. And we actually landed him. I think there's a lot of them that size in there, but I think the two fish that ate the uh, crappies were not that size, especially the first one. But the swim bait seems to be working, so keep trying this and hopefully we can get one on the live bait before we leave. Pretty much catching crappies at will, which is fun, but kind of over that for now, so we'll do these two things the rest of the time and hope for the best. And stuff. Another one. Another one. Stuck in a tree, though. We're in trouble. He's still on there. <laughs> Shit. Pull him out, bud. Not fishing the best. Pull us into a brush pile on that one, though. All twisted. All twisted. All right, I'm gonna rig up a 17 pound leader on my uh, heavier duty rod and go back to throwing the swim bait and then just catch one more, you know? Well, we're gonna, I mean, I've made 10 casts with the little swim bait and got bit three times, four times, something like that. Not exactly the best rod for it though, so we're gonna make some adjustments on here too and see if we can get another one or two and then moving on and stuff. The shit is going on here. Something has him. Something definitely has him. Tying on a swim bait and it got hit. I think he's just chilling with it. Wasn't even paying attention. Bobber went from here all the way over there. I think he still got it. Just munching it down. I'm not sure when to go for him, but he's definitely still there though. Got him. Got him. Got him. Not a giant, but got him. On the crappie. Definitely the biggest one. He's looking pretty rough, too. Looking pretty rough, but we got him. On the crap eye. And it looks like... They're just so mean. And it looks like the treble hook might have helped a notch but he's hooked with the uh, circle hook mainly. Oh. Good thing he wasn't hooked on just the treble because uh, yeah, my ghetto rig treble came off, but pike on the crappy, biggest one. He's looking pretty rough, a super skinny boy, but he's got heart. Ate like a five inch crappie, so I'm gonna throw swim baits around, get some more crappies out, try to catch one or two more pike, and then moving on. I'm gonna cut out a lot of stuff though coming up somehow i have to figure out how to get my treble hook on a little better and then um yeah see if we can get a bigger one hasn't been super productive i haven't fished the best but we're managing with what we got you know you know and stuff nope bobber is actually down back up but it was all the way down heading right for the damn log Got him. Oh, there goes Mr. Crappie, bud. <laughs> a little healthier. There must be a lot of pike in here. He definitely fought harder. There's Mr. Crappie, bud. <laughs> Poor bud. Got him on the circle again. Even with the treble there, the circle done did it. It was a little bit smaller crappie too. I think that uh, that is also part of it. Water's finally starting to cool down, but it's still technically summer. I'm going to try to leave him in the water as long as I can. Plus, he's just kind of a scary big-eyed toothy dude. There we go. Biggest pike of the day. Still not a big one, but uh, check this out. He is tagged. I don't want to keep him out too long, so I'm not going to look at the tag, but... Yep. Cool little tagged fish on the big boober and the crappie and stuff. All right. Well, I could probably catch a couple more, but 
been here for a few hours now and I don't know, uh, caught four pike, three and a half pike. One of them came off, broke one off, hooked something big. Caught about 50, 60, 70 crappie. I don't know, I lost count. It was pretty much every cast. So uh, yeah, it was a good time. Something a little bit different as far as species go. Obviously it's still a spillway creek, but that's just what I like to do. So moving water and uh, smaller areas are just, just fascinate me. And uh, I think most of you uh, like it as well. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Maybe I'll come back sometime. Water, water clarity is good, fish around and stuff like that, but I'll give it a break. And maybe once the true fall, fall feed happens, then maybe we'll come back. I know there's gotta be a bigger pike in here, like a mid thirties, 40 incher, but we just can never catch them. So, or maybe there's not, I don't know, but thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm going to pack up all my stuff and do something else. Stuff and things, but thanks for watching again. Okay, bye.